Howdy Reptilians, welcome and welcome back to another Reptilian Den. This is Den. Hello. Continuing with the theme of the last Reptilian Den, we made those bamboo sticks out of PVC. While I was doing that, I was thinking to myself like, it'd be kind of cool to just get a larger pipe and turn it into a log. And Morty's hide just broke after about what, a year, year and a half that he had that? I think so. It finally broke. Don't know what he did, but he broke it. And we thought it was the perfect time to do a DIY video of how to build another hide for him. Yeah. So here we go. Here I'm just measuring out the PVC before cutting it. My two dogs decided to join me on this adventure. PVC is not that difficult to cut, so I just used a handsaw to cut it. The reason I sanded it down was that way for later when I have to uh, paint it, it would stick better. For this part, I used a multi-tool with a uh, sander attachment, but really all you need is just sandpaper. Next, I changed out the sandpaper attachment for a blade, so that way I could cut the PVC in half so I could actually turn it into two hides if I wanted to. Then I took the Dremel tool to carve in the bark-like texture, that way it looked more like a log. As always, I'm using a non-toxic acrylic paint. I kind of went out of order here. I meant to cut the log down and really give it its shape before painting it, but it's no big deal. We'll make it work. Next, I just took a pencil and I just kind of sketched the uh, general shape that, of the log that I was aiming for. After that, I just took the Dremel tool and I just carved away at it until it finally looked the way that I was hoping it would. I'm intentionally trying to make these holes small so that way no reptile tries to climb through and gets stuck. Now it's time to put on the first layer of non-toxic paint. This is actually the same paint I used to detail the bamboo in the last video. I watered down some black paint and I coated the entire log in it. That way when I wiped it away with a rag it would come off much easier. I really like this method. It allows for the dark paints to get caught in the cracks so that way it creates more details. It also really darkens the wood. It makes it look really nice. Now for the final painting step. I took a green paint and I dipped a sponge into it so that way I could lightly sponge the top of the log that, to create more of a mossy look. I also did this with a lighter green as well. That second green creates a really nice gradient and makes it really come to life. The final step is to coat the entire log in clear shellac. That way it protects the paint so it doesn't chip off when it's constantly being walked on by animals or being sprayed down constantly by water. Just a reminder, shellac is completely non-toxic uh, once it's dried and there's no longer a smell. So these were two others that I did earlier when I was experimenting more around. This is the mostly finished product. We're hoping to be upgrading Morty's tank here pretty soon. I'm planning to glue them together, but I want to see how they look in the new tank first. So right now I was just putting them in there, just messing around, seeing how it looked. Just trying to get ideas of how I want to do it for the new tank. He seems to already really like it. And so that's it. I really like the way it turned out. It's looking nice. But that's not its permanent home though. Uh, we are currently in the process of getting Morty and actually a bigger tank. So that's why we didn't end up gluing the logs together just yet because I wanted to see the appropriate arrangement for the bigger tank. I'm excited to see them get used in the new tank. I hope you liked them. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, 
and hit that bell for notifications so you can see more Els Reptiles and a little bit more uh, DIY stuff in the future. And don't forget to follow him on Instagram right here. He posts a lot of really cool pictures of lizard stuff and not lizard stuff, art related stuff. And if you have any ideas for uh, future DIY projects, please put it in the comments down below. See you next time. All right, ready? I uh, suck at this. I'm already panicking. Uh, continuing with the continuing with the theme of last week, or not last week, continue. Uh, out of PVC, PVC, right? Mm -hmm. And then we need an outro. Do you want to see what you said last time so you can just say the exact same thing? Yeah. Was that good? I think so. That was quick, easy. Yeah. We're getting better at it.